Okay, I want to show you a cool app that is kind of an expensive app. Um, it's used for doing 3D objects and building 3D environments. It's a really cool app, and again, it's expensive. It's $14. We're working on possibly getting some reduced pricing on it, but it's called Virto Studio, and I want to show you how it works so we can make a, make a better choice on it. All right, um, it is, an, again, an environment to build envir uh, different environments, 3D objects. And so what it does is it brings you up to what's called your library. These are the different things I've been playing with already. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and create something brand new. Click on create a new scene. And the first thing you'll notice is that you've got a couple things here. You've got a grid here that you can um, zoom in and out of. You've got an object that's already here, which you can make bigger and smaller by pinching. You've got a light source. Now, right now it looks very 2D. So what you want to do is you want to come up here to the camera view. You click on the camera and you want to switch it to free view. So that gets you into more of a 3D angle. I'm going to bring my light source down here for a second. Alright, so what do you do here? So now I've just got one finger. I can rotate. I can go up, down, around, on the bottom, the side. When I pinch out and pinch, pinch in and out, I can get in closer. And so this is really the view that you can get more of the 3D look at things. All right, and what do you do? Okay, well, there's lots of things you can do in here. First thing is you can add some objects. To add an object, you click on the plus button right up here. You can add planes, sketches, which is things you can make your own, um, cubes, spheres, terrain. I'll just start off with a cube. Everything gets put in the middle. So once you have an object, you can bring it in, rotate it, put it where you want it. If you want to make it bigger or smaller, you can do that. And any object you can edit. So if I come over here, if I want this object to be a different color, simply come on up here. There's that little button here. It's uh, kind of like a circle. It's here. And I click there, and it gives you different ways that you can edit the color. So I can edit just the basic colors here. Um, you can make highlighted colors. You can have it kind of glow, which is kind of cool. And what you'll notice is. Uh, all these pr uh, things that you change are all reflected by this light source. So I've got a light source here. So if I bring it over here, you'll see that different parts get lit up. And again, so there's a sides. So very cool. I like that. Um, so let's edit just different uh, colors, things like that. To actually edit the shape to make it look a little bit different, what you're going to do is you can click on this edit key right up here. What that does is it brings you into edit mode at the bottom. Now you can do it a couple different ways. Uh, you can do the vertices, which is they're highlighted in black here. I don't know if you can see that on your screen. I'll zoom in. Uh, each of the angles and the points has a black rectangle. So whenever I'm in the vertices mode, I can click on one. Sometimes they're hard to click on. And they turn yellow. When they're yellow, that means you can then drag the vertice. You gotta be very careful. There we go. So you can drag the vertices. I'm gonna zoom out so you can see that a little bit better. Oops, there we go. So now I'm changing my shape. You can do it also on the side. So if I click on this tr triangle button here, you see now I've got some vertices here in the middle. Again, I'll try to zoom in so you can see this better. You see that black dot in the middle? That's where I can pull on the side. So again, if I tap it, it highlights the side, then I can raise and lower each of the sides. So you can really make some cool shapes out of this. Very cool for the students to do. Lots of ways they could use this. Uh, you know, creating projects, creating neighborhoods, creating buildings, solar panels, uh, just a ton of different ways they can use this. I'm going to hit uh, done on my editing box to show you some of the other things that you can add. If I click on the add button here again, plain sketches, cubes, the sketch is kind of cool. Where you can do just a rough sketch, you can do kind of like a circular sketch, you can have more segments, um, the length of the sketch, something that the kids will just want to play around with. So if I hit done, um, well I didn't sketch anything, but basically, you know, if I make my shape here, hit done, and there's my shape. I just created. It's kind of hanging out below deck. 
So there's my sketch. It brings it right in. I can build all kinds of things. Great for that kind of stuff. Um, another thing that's cool is the terrain. You can do automatic terrain, which you can change the width and the length here, but again, play around with it. When you hit go, it adds the terrain to the uh, sketch. Now I'm going to bring it down a little bit because that's a little bit high. Some of my stuff is missing. No, oh, that's okay. And so you can add some terrain. And again, uh, the light is key here. So you've got that same idea of wherever the light source is, the lighting is affected. Also under terrain, just to show you this, you can also import images. They've got some built-in textures, but kids can actually take a picture of something, uh, a texture that they see, a wall or whatever. They can import it, and they can actually make this terrain that texture. So, very cool. Now, anything you don't want, let's say you don't want this, just click on it, hit delete, and get rid of it. Alright, so that is kind of the basic run-through of how this works. There's another light source if you want more than one light source to see how they work, interact together. You can do that. Have one over here, one over there. Have them both over here, very bright. Alright, so that's how it works as far as uh, getting these all uh, created. Now, with when you have an image and you have something created, you can do other things with it. Of course, it's a picture. So if I click on the camera button, I can uh, render the current view to an image. What that does is it takes a picture of this. So whatever the current view is, like if I'm, I'll do two of them here so you can see the difference. So let's say I want to crawl right into this section right here. I get a ground view. Yeah, there we go. Hit the camera, hit render current view to image. And when I come back out of my iPad, come into my camera app, click on my objects, and there's the two pictures that I took, which again can be used in all kinds of other projects. They can be emailed to teachers, they can be emailed to themselves, to be put into something on you know a PC or a Mac. Um, these are just images that can be used. So that's a very cool Virto Studio 3D.